Hi you guys, I hope you're all doing well. I felt like in the spirit of last week's video where I was decluttering my makeup collection, I thought I would share a few skincare empties with you guys today. Um, I don't have as big of a haul as I usually do, so I'm kind of curious to hear your feedback, whether you like me doing more frequent empties hauls but with less stuff in them, or whether you like just the huge, massive empty hauls that I'll usually do. I feel like knowing myself, I'll still take just as long to talk about these few products as I do with those massive hauls. So me trying to save you guys some time might not be a thing here, but I'm gonna try and move through them as quickly as possible. And yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know my final thoughts on a few things that I've mentioned in favorites videos or a new product that I'm trying video. Uh, and now I can finally share with you guys my final thoughts. So let's hop in first category is skincare so like for my face and shocker we have a josh rosebrook hydrating accelerator always have one of these in my empties videos i actually have another one that i am working on right now i feel like i always have one of these on backup it's just such a great hydrating mist to have around if you have dry skin i think you will be obsessed with this i've talked about it so many times before i'm not gonna harp on it but this is the larger size of the two and i actually ended up really liking the larger size just because i'm someone who uses it frequently and that way i don't run through as many as quickly so i think that the larger size is worth it but certainly if you're just trying this product for the first time i would say try the smaller size and see if you enjoy it because otherwise i feel like you'll be bummed that you spent so much money on a face uh, if it doesn't work for you so try the smaller size if you've never tried this before but if you really love it then I would amp up to the full size it lasts so much longer and I just feel like it's definitely worth it the next product I've sort of talked about before in my pie video this is the pie rice plant and rosemary bio affinity skin tonic I really liked this it's tough for me to choose between this tonic and this hydrating accelerator because I feel like they were doing two really different things I didn't use them at the same time I used the Josh Rosebrook before I was using this skin tonic and then I used it once I finished the skin tonic but why I really liked the skin tonic was because it was very refreshing but it also felt like it had more targeted skincare benefits than the Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator so if you're looking for something that's going to be hydrating go with the Josh Rosebrook spray but if you're looking for something that is more targeted at balancing your skin and sort of toning your skin then I would go for the rice plant rosemary tonic I just feel like it felt more like a skincare step than a skin mist, if that makes sense. I really enjoyed this in combination with all the other pie products. My only only with this is that I went through it so much faster than my other pie products, which was kind of a bummer because then I had to switch over to other face mists that I have that like I had to decide whether or not they work with the pie products instead of knowing for sure that this one will work with all the other ingredients in every other product. So I wish this was a little bit bigger or there's just like more in it. So like this one is four fluid ounces and this is 1.7 fluid ounces. And looking at them side by side, you would think they're like comparable in amount. This one is in glass and this is in plastic. Obviously, I do really appreciate and like the glass packaging. It's better for recycling. Uh, I like when my products are stored in glass over plastic but it is a bummer that you go through it so much quicker because there's not as much product in here. Last solely face skincare related product is this Laurel Honeyberry Enzyme Mask. This is probably one of my favorite enzyme masks. It smells so good. Just because it's super gentle, but you notice a big difference. Now, I'm actually trying a different mask right now. I'm trying the Mahalo um, petal mask and that's one where I notice an immediate softness after I remove the mask versus this one I noticed the softness mainly the next day so this was a product that I used about twice a week in my Laurel skincare routine I'd put it on I'd leave it on my skin for about 40 minutes which they only recommend 10 to 30 minutes but I would leave it on a little bit longer um, and then when the honey started to get that tacky feeling I was able to sort of use my fingers to tap it around my face and sort of get that extra stimulation, that extra circulation to my skin. It was almost like a little facial massage. I actually have another one that's unopened that I'll be using again. Um, I just feel like if you have more sensitive skin or if you're still trying to get that sort of like high intensity exfoliation without using things like AHA or BHAs or all that good stuff, then I would definitely check out enzyme masks. I find them for me personally much easier on my skin and they're just as effective and you can use them more frequently 
consistently usually. I think there's a bit of a learning curve with this one just because if you're used to kind of either dipping your fingers into a mask and like slathering it all on or using a brush, this one's a little bit different because you do need to sort of warm up the honey with a little bit of water or else it's just a super thick mask and you'll go through this way too quickly. So just remember that you take out like a generous pea size to like dime amount, um, add some water to it and really warm it up between your fingers and then apply to your face. I have a full review on Laurel skincare. So if you guys want to see what it looks like, all that good stuff, go check out that video. I will link it above. My only dental empty is this Tom sensitive toothpaste. I repurchased it since the last time I told you guys about it and I finished another one and this definitely helped through the holiday season to keep my teeth feeling good, not tingly or I have like one tooth that can sometimes be a little bit painful if I've had too much sugar or like alcohol multiple nights in a row it just sort of like erodes away those minerals and I start to feel a little bit of nerve pain and this really helped to mitigate that um so I'm still using this I repurchased another one I have a feeling this is just going to kind of be a staple in my routine now just so that I don't have to deal with that tooth sensitivity so if you guys also have it I would highly recommend checking this one out it is fluoride free which is great for me and yeah I just have really been enjoying it I guess I'll move on to this lip balm next because we're sort of in that region of the face this is the LXMI lip melt. This took me forever to go through. So if you are looking for bang for your buck, it's definitely this product. It's an interesting formula because it's a balm that immediately turns into like a pretty slick oil when you put it onto your lips. It took me a little while to get used to it, but once I did and I kind of found out the amount that I needed to apply so that it didn't feel like super heavy, but it felt like it would be enough to condition my lips, then I fell in love with it and I applied it pretty much every night before bed. I ended up also using it as like a multi-purpose balm. So like if I had cuticles that were coming out or if I had like a little dry pack on my hand and I had some left over after putting it on my lips I would just rub that on it and it was hydrating so if you buy this I personally don't think it needs to just be for your lips I think you can use it kind of all over to hydrate certain areas and really condition them and the packaging is really beautiful so I really enjoyed this okay body care is my largest category um, and I went through a decent amount of product so the first two are from the same brand and this is the spa ritual body salve and body cream in Earl Grey. And I talked about these in a favorites video, so spoiler alert, I really loved these. The body solve is a lot thicker than the body lotion, so usually what I would do is use the solve like after a shower at nighttime and then kind of like let it really soak in while I'm sleeping. But if I was going out during the day or if I had showered in the morning and I was gonna put clothes on, I would use the body lotion. Both of these products I just really enjoyed and I would 100% repurchase. I went through them quite quickly because I really looked forward to using them. And I'm also trying to get more into the habit of moisturizing after a shower. So I was really diligent about using these. I love, love, love the scent. Um, it's just really light, really fresh. And yeah, I was literally like squeezing the last, last bits of this out of both of these, trying to get as much as I could out of them. If you have really dry skin, go for the salve. If you just want like a good lotion, then go for the body cream. In the shower, I was using this detox mode happening scrub pretty much every time before shaving. And then on Sundays, I would also use it. I try to do a nice detox routine on Sundays. I try and always do a face mask. I exfoliate, um, dry brushing, using a product like this. So the jury is out still on this product because I really enjoyed it. I have another one and I fully intend to use it. I love the scent. I love how my skin feels afterwards, but I just don't know if I'm in love with the formula of it. A lot of times the formula sort of separated and then towards the end, it seemed like I had sort of squeezed out all of the like beaded formula, so the exfoliating part, and there's just a lot of like oil left, which is kind of a bummer. But I will say, the nice part about this is that when you're using it, it turns into a milk once water is applied to it. So it rinses off your body completely and you're not left with any residue. I'm going to try the second bottle of this. Um, right now I'm using a One Love exfoliator, which you guys would have seen in my self-care routine I did a couple of weeks ago. So I'm using that right now, but when I finish that, I'm going to go back to this and try it again and see how I feel about it. So this is leaning towards like really, really enjoying, but there's just like a few little kinks in it that I'm not totally sure I'm in love with. All right, the next empty is probably the hardest and most important thing to find in clean beauty when you're switching over 
and that is a good deodorant that works for you and this is definitely my holy grail deodorant it's such a good deodorant it is the primally pure deodorant in geranium I have another one in a charcoal color I'm trying a different brand right now just so that I diversify and I can tell you guys you know like what works and what doesn't work for me but if I wasn't doing YouTube if I didn't talk to you guys about clean beauty I would just continually repurchase this deodorant because it's so good it's just the best one that I found. It works really well for me. It's not a vegan formula, so you guys should know that, but it's a really great deodorant, and if you're struggling to find a clean deodorant that works really well, I would definitely check this one out. I'm going to end this empties video with another favorite that I feel like is always in an empties video, and that's how I laid a skin food. This poor guy has been, like, shrunken down. I've tried to squeeze every little bit. Oh, there we go out of him. This is the old packaging. It came in this sort of like metal container. Now it comes in plastic. I don't know. I have like a soft spot for this old packaging. I'm not really sure why they changed it. I think it had to do with ease of recycling, which is obviously a positive thing, but I think I will probably miss this packaging. I just love my latest skin food. I suffer from really dry skin, especially dry hands during the winter, and nothing helps like my latest skin food. It's also just great to have around if you end up getting a cold. I always apply this kind of like under my nose, and not only does the scent of it like smell really good and there's no science behind this. I don't know if this is true at all, but it feels like very fresh and powerful and like when you have a cold and your sinuses are so congested, having that scent like right by your nose and breathing it in for whatever reason it feels like your sinuses are opening a little bit. No signs of that. I have no idea if that's actually happening, but um, it's just nice to be able to smell something when you haven't smelled something in a long time. So I put this like all over my hands. I put this, like I said, on my nose whenever I'm sick and I have dry areas. I always recommend this when friends are like, I have super dry skin, what should I use? You can always use skin food and if you're putting it on your body, mix it with like a body oil or something to make it a little bit less thick. Again, it's just like one of those multi-purpose products that you can find so many uses for. A lot of people wear it under makeup. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with this product. So if you haven't somehow, some way, tried Wiley the Skin Food yet, try it. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't like it. It's so good uh, and it's great, great, great for dry hands. So this is definitely one of my favorite wintertime products. All right, you guys, those are all of my empties. Was that shorter? I don't know. Let me know if you guys like fewer empties or whether you just want me to wait and do like a big haul like I usually do. Um, yeah, leave your feedback in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all again next week. Bye guys.